All right, so a little off-camera work has taken place. Uh, my AC is broke at the house and a few other things popped up, so I hadn't really had a chance to sit and record. Uh, but I've got the bike ready for the first test ride. So I got my little chain tensioner down here that I kind of tacked up and welded. Um, so far, it looks like it's going to work pretty well. Um, I unfortunately couldn't run the right the regular header pipe that I had that was going to run out the back because it was aimed right at the tire and I got this one bent out and away. Um, I'll work on actually building a custom one that actually tucks up under here anyways. Um, fuel pumps on, Got a, finally got a fuel filter on this thing. Uh, I've got everything hooked up. I really need to do something different with this. I'd like to put a double uh, plug or bung, whatever you want to call it, on the uh, valve cover so I can run my charge line or my pressure line to that or my pulse line that's what it's called um got the brakes on this was an interesting task so i wanted to get the the i think it's the micro or mini moto i think it's mini moto from go power sports and i wanted to run the mini moto back here but i didn't have the ability to do that right this second because just costs um so i picked up this like the 17 dollar atv uh caliper I fabbed up a little bracket here, the bolts here, it's got spacers here and a little spacer here to kind of push it closer to the rotor. And so far it's actually pretty well um, set up. The only thing I wasn't too fond of is how close it gets right here to the tire. Um, but I ended up having to grind down, which you can see the grind marks in my previous um, little videos. Uh, you can see the grind marks and what I was doing to get this to fit. I don't really like it, but it, it's going to work for now. Uh, but it's all bled, got the oil catch can back on, got my uni filter on, got the carb on. It's somewhat tuned to run. We'll tune it more tomorrow uh, and check it out. And then basically the whole bike's together. <coughs> <coughs> um, everything looks to be pretty square, straight, at least as good as I can get it. Uh, and I will put the straight pipe on for the race on Friday, but... That's pretty much all I've got for an update on this. Uh, tomorrow I'll get the video of it running, and then that'll be the last day I'm able to work on it before I actually go and race it. So hopefully everything goes well tomorrow. I don't have to rush order anything. You know, nothing breaks. I'm gonna. I don't know where there's any wood to knock on, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm not really superstitious. So hopefully that that doesn't bite me. But so far, I think it's looking pretty good. I got all my all my stickers on there. Um, be cool to keep stickering this up with all the parts that I put into it. Uh, I will say the only thing that I didn't get to put on, and I was kind of sad that I didn't, but I didn't really read about it, was I picked up this coil from Tons Performance. And I was really wanting to throw this on there. Uh, I did the first night when I was playing with it and I got the parts. And I learned that the Ghost Predator will not accept that uh, coil unless I swap out to a different flywheel. Um, I asked a bunch of people online because I had the bike tip over. I thought oil may have gotten in the uh, valves and kind of made it so that it wouldn't decompress on every pull. Uh, but it would basically, it would pull over. And as I was pulling it, it ripped the starter out or the cord out of my hand. And it would pre-ignite the engine on the, I'm assuming the upstroke for the compression stroke. And it was because of that. Uh, the timing was a little off with the uh, Tons Performance coil. And if, like I said, if I wanted to do that, I'd have to actually go and get a billet flywheel, which that's the plan in the future. Once this race is all done, I'm probably going to tear this down again, um, do some final adjustments on some of the parts and pieces, uh, maybe make a better chain tensioner, or maybe just run this one because it may work really well. I'm going to rip it apart, send out the handlebars, frame, and any various little mounts and bracketry that I have that's not painted yet. I'll send that out to go get powder coated. Um, and then I'll probably pull the engine off, maybe do some internal mods, that'll be another video series, or in this series, and just some little odds and ends, and then just making this thing more fun, that is if I don't sell it before then. I will, would like to at least reupholster the seat, because this is pretty rough, uh, so I'll probably get some, I don't know, some kind of custom fabric or something for it, and then, uh, reupholster that and have a really nice little ride to go to the track with and just kind of do whatever really um i won't really be able to go off road anymore since i kind of lowered it and 
The only thing I really don't like about the DB30s is I wish the frame was flat down here. Um, yeah, it kind of it comes down, bends uh, bends down, and then bends back up. So it's kind of hard to get it actually um, set well if you lower it. But the middle part is actually flush with the ground, or at least parallel with the ground. I mean, not flush. Um, and it's parallel with the ground, and it just kind of kicks up this way. Which is why on my little brackets here, I did adjustable um, holes on it. So I can actually raise this tire up if I really want to. And uh, unfortunately, if I raise that tire up, I just thought about that. I will need to make another bracket for that brake caliper, which will really suck. And I don't want to do that. So it's going to stay at that height for now on. But it'd be kind of cool in the future if I could build these brackets and then people could actually use them and I have brackets already pre-made for this stuff. Um, similar to that little bracket there. And then I do have one other thing that I'd really like to do. And I don't know if I'm going to have time. We'll see how the test ride goes tomorrow. I really would like to fab up some wheelie bars for this. And I do have... Uh, oops. I need to clean up my garage. Um, is that in the miscellaneous? No, maybe it's up in here. No, I had a drawer. I had heim joints, and I don't know where they went. No, I do have, they're in here, I'm just dumb. There they are. So here's my little heim joints. Let's actually grab these, because I want to see what all I have for rod ends. So I do have four of these. I got these. Which, uh, those are really tiny, so. Yeah, that'd probably go well with those. But yeah, here's my little wheelie bar idea. So if, if this thing really bucks hard, I'm going to try to build a set of wheelie bars that comes out probably about here um, out of some tubing that I have. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't put some tabs on the frame up there. Run the bars down so I can adjust them up and down. And then I'm going to put a couple holes, or like one hole here. I mean, hopefully. Uh, may just weld a tab or something onto it for now. Because I'm going to cut this one back off and redo it since my logo is backwards. But then I'm going to run a heim joint there. So then I have a triangle that goes up from here back. And then straight out or ish to help me not pull the front tire off the ground. So... We'll see how that goes. I'm not really sure how that's all going to work, but I should have enough stuff around here to make these work, I hope. I thought I had all the end pieces and everything in here too, but I guess I don't. I guess I scrapped those. I thought I didn't. That might be an issue, because I think some of these are left-hand thread. Left hand thread. Oh, boy. Well, if anything, I guess I won't put wheelie bars on it, and I just won't go ham. So that'll be the last update for now, unless I really get into the wheelie bar deal. So hopefully the next uh, video you see is me racing this thing, or at least tomorrow doing the test run. Um, and then the next video will be me racing it. So, well, we'll see what happens. All right, let's swap these out real quick. Maybe. actually the way I'm supposed to do it. That's it. Alright, I just had it on wrong. Okay, that's back on. Got the pulse line kind of on. And not the happiest camper about that pulse line, but it's gonna have to work for now. I wish I had a better place for the uh, engine, or engine, the uh, fuel pump.
I know. I was afraid of what it was going to do when I jumped, so I was like, ah, well, slip. <laughs> I know, I eased into it. I didn't get on, and I was like, oh, I, I, I should just get <laughs> Yeah, that's, I was curious as to what it was going to do, so now I know. Yeah, got to do one more time now that we've got to shake it loose. <laughs> I was surprised. I didn't think I'd see a 13. No, I know. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Everybody always laughed at this thing. They're like, oh, it's just a mini bike. Well, at least it's somewhat fast. <laughs> Are you 13, 13, 390? Yeah. Yeah, that was 14.15. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think it's hot. <laughs> I am. Give it a little bit of joke? Yeah. Try it again. You gotta give it a little bit of while while you're giving it. That's the sketchy yeah. part. Here, I'll, I'll give it just a hair. Yeah, let me see. That's why I didn't want to launch it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My antenna? You don't have a radio? I don't know how to get to what it. What kind of a vehicle is this? Radio. Oh, there we go. There's your radio. Yeah. Alright, I definitely think I stayed shit weird last time because it wasn't wanting to give me throttle, so mm -hmm. maybe I don't foot brake it near as hard. Yeah, probably a good idea. Howdy, Phil. <laughs> Traction control, that's what it was. So yeah, it's the two boxes. Okay. So that is where you're so looking it's at. Just real, real. Yeah. Early staging. Early sure. Early staging. Deep stage. Deep stage.
You doing a burnout? No. No. <laughs> I would wait. You know where to creep up to? Nope. See that box right there? Yep. First line and then a second line. So creep up and once you see the first bulb up top, stop and then roll forward a little bit more until you get the second bulb. So keep going. Keep going. Yep, there you go. Roll up a little bit more. Yep, all right, there you go. Now you can launch it or go now. Yeah, you slept at the light. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. No red light, that's good. Your 60 foot was two and a half. That was better than the right lane. What you doing? I think he's spraying. <laughs> he is. Do I launch it again? Yes, yeah. definitely against Scory. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes tires anyway? <laughs> All right, he's he might need some assistance. I taught. I told Ryan so. All right, he should be able to help him a little bit. I get it figured out. Oh, oh God, you deep staged me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that time. <laughs> so close. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, you? Uh, times. 52. Ooh. Pretty close. I was right lining. Well, yeah, I could figure that one out. 235, 683. Not bad. Damn, he was 75. Mile an hour? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was coming. Once the turbo kicked in. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> 